Meet Milo Davenport. Milo was born with a curious case of spontaneous silly head syndrome. A rare disorder which makes the individual experience temporary transformations. Although Milo has managed to suppress his condition long enough to live a normal life, it has suddenly become unmanageable. Milo has come to see a specialist. Oh, hello there, Milo. Yes, please come in. My name is Dr. Waddle. Um, tell me, how has this been affecting your life? Um, well, look at me. It's, it's not ideal, is it? No, no, I can imagine not. No, um... Can you tell me anything that may have triggered this? Are you feeling alright? Depressed at all? Um, well, nothing I can think of. Um, well, Linda left me. I suppose there's that. Yeah, Linda left you, did she? Oh, that is sad. A broken heart can be quite dramatic. Yeah. Well, time ought to heal that broken heart for you. But your transformations, well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? I just don't know what to do about it, Doc. It's... I mean, it's really driving me mad. Um, I mean, is there anything you can suggest? Well, it's simple. Just find the items the transformations hate. Then you just confront them with it, don't you? Um, how? Well, why don't you look for stuff around the house? I'm sure you can find household objects to scare them off. Just use your head. Your silly little head. Um, alright then. Well, I'll try that then. Cheers then, Doc. Thank you. Bye. Right. So, uh, how do you guys want to film this, then? No, you just relax, Marlo. Just act like we ain't here. If you want to talk about anything in particular, then just pick something and we'll start shooting, all right? Okay, great. Well, I'll just start looking for objects that my transformations hate, then. Ah, uh, my dad got me this book. Face Punch by uh, Frankie Face Punching Fletcher. Signed by the legend himself, yeah? Prickly, just uh, like Linda's heart. I could probably find a use for this. I'll uh, use these, you know, to um, set the mood for love. They haven't been lit in a while, though. Um, even before she left, though, Linda used to reject my candlelit advances. What can you do? Dad got me this uh, trophy when I turned 11 and didn't die, as the doctors predicted. I went for the old 85-incher, much to Linda's dismay. She used to say, oh, your eyes will go square sitting so close to that thing. I used to just think, oh, <laughs> I hope you leave me one day, Linda. I really do. <sighs> I went for the old 85-incher, much to... I used to... I used to just think, oh... <laughs> Thank you.
I uh, find I'm often scratching at these when I'm in the cat form. I've tried using the garden fence, but Mr. Ruffleton just sprays me with his hose. It scares me half to death. I, I, I bloody hate it. Those are Linda's cigarettes. Her breath absolutely stunk of the things. Fortunately, she uh, rarely tried to kiss me. Smoking causes impotence. Uh, not sure how that will help, but we'll see. I suppose my, uh, my only real escape nowadays is, well, through this thing. I do uh, wonder about some games, though. They, uh, they seem to be getting sillier and sillier. I uh, find I'm often scratching at these when I'm in the cat form. I've tried using the garden fence, but Mr. Ruffleton just sprays me with his hose. It scares me half to death. I, I, I bloody hate it. Yeah, haven't actually received a single message from Linda. Yeah, not sure I will, but I like to keep it charged, you know, just on the off chance. Oh, Linda, she, uh, she hated movies. You still say that, oh, there's more than enough drama in the real world. It was just ridiculous. I'd always have to wait for her to go to bed before I could, like, watch any of my movies. It's... Ah. I, uh, I bought this karaoke player for Belinda's birthday. Uh, she never ended up using it, though. Since she left, uh, well, I get, a, I get a fair bit of use out of it, actually. I find when I'm uh, practicing my gangster raps, it, um, it really helps me clear my mind. Uh, yeah, music, it's, it's very, very powerful stuff. These are Dad's old boxing gloves. I remember Dad telling me when he uh, got absolutely battered by uh, Bruce the Bruiser Brewster. Yeah, he was uh, hospitalized for like 37 days in the end. But um, he said that nothing hurt him, quite like the day the doctor told him that I had spontaneous silly head syndrome. You know, of course, my boxing career, well, that was over before it had even begun, and uh, my dad, he was, well, he was just devastated, wasn't he? Well, that's locked. Linda, she, uh, she really was stunning. Oh, this is fun. Uh, Linda and I used to love leaving each other saucy little messages on here. Oh, here's one. Uh, Marlo, don't eat the chicken in the fridge. It's for dinner tomorrow. They used to be a little bit saucier than that, I can assure you. Um, actually, I think I wrote that one for myself. I, I did eat that chicken. It's been quarter past eight for, well, weeks now. Uh, I do have a battery, I just, I just haven't replaced it. Oh, I have to be careful here. Make sure I don't open the uh, fridge as the shark. Last week he scoffed an entire gammon joint. Get halfway through it and end up changing into the slug form and the bloody gammon is so salty it burns a hole in the back of me throat. Oh, it's bloody awful. I uh, find I'm often scratching at these when I'm in the cat form. I've tried using the garden fence, but Mr. Ruffleton just sprays me with his hose. It scares me half to death. I, I, I bloody hate it. I don't actually know what's in those cupboards. Uh, mystery. 
sometimes I think just, well, why not just stick the ice head in the oven? And I, uh, I do remember that that is how my Uncle Charlie died, and, well, it was terribly sad at the time. I mean, it still is. It is still sad to this day. Linda and I, we, uh, we both loved cooking, uh, so much so that, well, we just used to make individual dinners rather than cook a shared meal. Oh, these batteries, yeah. Linda got these before she left. Always on at me to uh, replace the one in the clock. Alright, woman, when I get a chance, Christ. Maybe I can just use these for something besides the clock. Maybe I can just use these for something besides the clock. Well, there's barely any left after cleaning the slug lunge out of the bathroom. Just uh, one of my lovely little apples there. One of the five a day, as they say. Um, Linda used to eat the other four, though. It doesn't usually take too long to clean my one plate after dinner. Unless the old bloody cat starts licking the tap. I mean, I can never work them out. I mean, sometimes I hate water. Uh, then the other times I just can't get enough of the stuff. I, I never understand them, the stupid bloody things. <laughs> I actually tried to tie my number twos for when I'm in cat form. Covered in fur, yeah, it's a clean drop every time. It's, it's amazing. Yet... Yeah, when I'm the human, I end up using most of a roll of toilet paper. Uh, it's just ridiculous, can't afford that. Some days this ends up absolutely caked in the old slug glunge. A uh, bit of warm salty water though, that usually shifts it. It's not going to work, is it? Empty, typical. Linda probably used the last of the bleach brushing her teeth. I might have an idea for this. I've usually torn this to shreds by now, the bloody cat. All he needs is a little bit of warm water. Lovely. If I get stuck as a shark, I um, I find it's better off just thrashing about in here for a few hours. You know, keeps me occupied. Oh, that's still bloody busted. It's uh, it's freezing when you get out of the bathtub, you know, ice head or otherwise. It's uh, full of rubbish, that. Uh, not much else to say on the matter, really. It's just a bin. Just digging through rubbish now. This is one of uh, Linda's pieces. She was quite gifted. I'll probably just take it out back and we'll burn it with the rest of her stuff. She won't be coming back. Linda, she... Uh, she left most of her clothes here. Um, 
I suppose it's still nice to be able to smell it though. I like to keep this photo of Linda by the bed, just so I don't forget her face really. Oh, you are a sexy mare. Sexy mare. This is a picture of my sister Emily. She's uh, fortunate enough to not have to deal with my problem, you know. She doesn't change. <laughs> She's a permanent cow, <laughs> as I like to say. Yeah. She is, though. This was the best picture I could find of us together. Once I uh, defeat my transformation, so to speak, I'll uh, I'll go outside again. Lovely. I'll uh, I'll sometimes change form in the night as well. I'll just wake up absolutely soaking if the ice head has started melting during the night. It's a bloody nightmare. Or if I've been dreaming of Linda, it can also happen. Linda, she, uh, she used to blow dry her hair for hours towards the end. She said it used to drown out all the crying. You know, I didn't think I cried that loud. Got herself a battery-powered one in the end, you know, just so she could drown me out from anywhere in the house. You know, nice, isn't it? The batteries are dead, but it might still come in handy. Take it with us, eh? That's that sorted then, lovely. Just a cheap microphone. I'll show you some of my skills if you want. How is that even supposed to work? Once I uh, defeat my transformation, so to speak, I'll uh, I'll go outside again. Lovely. It's not going to work, is it? Oh, I'm just being stupid now. Well, that's pretty much pointless. Oh, Linda, she, uh, she hated movies. I don't These are Dad's old boxing gloves. I remember Dad telling me when he uh, got absolutely battered by uh, Bruce the Bruiser Brewster. Yeah, he was uh, hospitalised for like 37 days in the end. But um, he said that nothing hurt him quite like the day the doctor told him that I had spontaneous silly head syndrome. You know, of course, my boxing career, well, that was over before it had even begun, and uh, my daddy was, well, he was just devastated, wasn't he? Well, that's locked. Yo, a 
when I turn four, think I figured out the score. Developing a bomb that become a little flaw. I got several silly kids when I see them I dread. The people might think I'm going sick in their head. I got slut shock eyes and a pretty little kitty. It's not really silly, I can hide really nearly. I can wear a hood in the neighborhood, but only on days that are chilly. Check it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Linda, 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 where did you go? You didn't have to go and let me struggle on my own I got 99 problems, but a slug's just one of them Shark cat ass and 95 other ones Yo, motherfucker, gotta listen to me When you're made of ice, you know it's hard to pee When I try to go, I scream like a reefer When there's frozen weed stuck in my reefer thing This is a, a photo of me and Dad before all of the silly head stuff started happening. This was, well, one of the last times he smiled at me. Hi Dad. Hmm, I wonder what this key's for then. Let's just slip this inside ya. Yeah. Here we go. Well that's pretty much pointless. No, I think it's going to be a bit too potent. Maybe just mix it down a little bit. Ice to heat you, yeah? Puns? Ooh, that's better. Go on, Gertia. Wow! Yeah, hopefully I'll stop coughing up hairballs now. No, I think it's going to be a bit too potent. Maybe just mix it down a little bit.
And here comes Marlow with the devastating uppercut. Oh, I wish Dad could have seen that. Oh, Linda would go mad if I ever left a glass in here. I'll just do it now because I can. Oh, I'll just take it back to the kitchen, eh? All he needs is a little bit of warm water. Lovely. Just pour a little bit in here. Well, what's left of it. Well... I hope this doesn't sting too much, mate. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't so bad, was it? It's not going to work, is it? Oh, I'm just digging through rubbish now. Oh, this is fun. Uh, Linda and I used to love leaving each other saucy little messages on here. Oh, here's one. Uh, Marlo, don't eat the chicken in the fridge. It's for dinner tomorrow. The
Well, glad that's all over with. A little bit annoying, but here we are. Can go outside as me for once. Oh, for fuck's sake. Linda. Meet Linda Davenport. Oh, shut up, Mug. So, who do you guys want to film this, then? Oh, we're done filming for today, love. Nah, mate. You listen to Marlo gob off for an hour, you can listen to me now, can't you? Nothing important. You want a front door with a good heft to it. Good for locking things out. Orin, how you doing, cutie? Amala used to leave me soppy messages on here. Oh, here's one, a poem. Linda, Linda, you're the best. From your hair down to your breast. Although you're nasty and you're mean, I know you do it to keep me keen. I am weak and you are strong. You protect me when the nights are long. I'm not afraid and I'm not a slug, nor shark cat eyes when I feel your love. Linda, don't leave me, cause I won't cope. If you're going into town, will you grab some soap? Well, see what I've got to put up with. Wait, what's this piece here? Dad's Plur 07821. What the bloody hell could that mean then? You better stop sniffing my knickers, Marlo. You hear me? Although I'm an amazing model, my real passion lies in painting. Look how I've captured my curves. Everything seems to be in order. Hang about, what's this paper? None number. 453787 What is this, some kind of code? Oh, well it looks like a match. It's not a cryptic code, it's a phone number. The one I tore up. We should call Dad. We should shut up. You should shut up. You should stop Marlow dreaming of me. I could make a prick joke, but I'm sure I made one earlier. 
I don't want to flog it. Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. Yeah, go on. Yeah, don't worry about my privacy or anything. <laughs> Jobs are good and Fine, talk to him then. You'll only be disappointed, Marlo. Hello? Dad? Oh, Marlo, it's so good to hear your voice. You didn't have to leave, Dad. It wasn't your fault. I'm so sorry, Marlo. You were too young to understand. I do understand. You feel guilty for causing my silly heads. The uppercut may have triggered it, but something else would have eventually. I never blamed you. Oh, Marlo. That wasn't why I left. Switch to video call. I think you're old enough to understand now. <laughs> Great show, Duck. Thanks for putting us in touch with Mr. Davenport. It made for fascinating television. No problem. I think I find all of my clients are quite fascinating. Do you have anybody else for me? Well, what about John here? I've just sewn his foot to his stomach. Join us next week as we examine John Nimblecon. A man who spent his entire life believing his foot should be connected to his stomach. His dream finally comes true as he becomes the same person on the outside as the inside. Good night. <laughs>